Hello, this is Paul1290, aka Professor Paul1290, and this is the Dark Mod. Uh, the Dark Mod is a total conversion mod for Doom 3, and it's a a fan-made spiritual sequel of sorts to uh, the first two Thief games, Thief 1, The Dark Project, and Thief 2, The Metal Age. Uh, these, most of these Let's Plays I'm going to do are not going to be blind runs, because I've... I tend to play a lot of these missions the moment they come out because I like this game so much. Sorry, I had to drink something. So this is going to be... I suppose you could call it a demonstration and let's play of sorts. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to... While I'm playing the game, I'm going to find opportunities to kind of demonstrate how the Dark Mod feels and how it plays and kind of demonstrate some of the mechanics of the Dark Mod opposed to some other Let's Plays, which are blind runs, and in those Let's Plays, since the since the person playing the game and recording the game is often learning the game as, as they go, they often kind of sort of miss out on some mechanics or don't quite understand how some things work at first. So this is going to be somewhat more of a way to demonstrate some, how, how the Dark Mod plays and feels in-game. And, hopefully clear up some misconceptions about how, how this mod plays. And without further ado, uh, let's begin. So let's start with Too Late. A uh, fairly short, but still good looking mission. This is my first Let's Play, so be nice, I'm probably going to stutter quite a bit. So in a nutshell, let's get this antique scepter. Sounds easy enough. Water arrows, because everybody likes water arrows. Maybe we'll bring a moss. This is filled us up with broadheads. And let's begin! Okay, I hope I have the brightness properly. Or bright. <laughs> I hope I have the brightness to a good level. I hope you can actually see this room. It seems to record a bit darker than what it looks like when I play. in the dark mod, you're going to select your lockpick, there we go, and going to frob the thing we want to unlock with the right mouse button, and we're going to listen for what sound it makes when we use the lockpick. We're going to be looking for a, or listening for, we're going to be listening for a brief gap in the sound where it'll stop making that clicking noise. It'll do a repeating pattern, and what we're going to do is we're going to look for that small brief pause, and during that pause we're going to release the right mouse button. Like that. And we get loot. And we can close it again. And leave it the way it was. That's the sound what that's the sound it makes when you don't release it at the right time.
Yeah, that had quite a few tumblers to it. If you find the lockpicking a bit too frustrating, you can make it work automatically. There is an option to make it work automatically <coughs> in the options menu. <coughs> it shouldn't be so dark in here. <coughs> yes, it should. What are you talking about? There's card number one, there's card number two, and I'm probably not going to walk out to the light while they're... that guy especially is watching me. Oh yeah, you can open doors partially, you just frob it again to stop it, and you frob it again to make it go the other way. <laughs> well, I almost went out there while he's looking this way. Ah, shoot, I loaded my save. <laughs> Derp. Hang on. I really should rebind that key, sorry about that. story, make sure you know which key loads your save and which one saves. I actually didn't get that one the first time. It came out better in the end. And he's all the way out in the dock. And I almost ran out to the light while he looked this way. Okay, let's actually save. There. Turn around. And now uh, you can't blackjack people by hitting them in the foot. If they have a helmet, you generally have to hit them from behind. What I usually do is I like, come up behind them and I hit them at the base of the neck. Or I aim for the base of the neck so the blackjack comes down on top of their head. pick up bodies in this game. Uh, what you do is quickly frob them to drag them around. And you press the use key while you're holding them to pick them up. And as you can see, if you put them down again, they're flipped over, which is good for flipping them over to maybe search their belt for little money pouches and such, such and such. If you don't pick them up with the use key, you can just kind of drag them around, maybe place them so they're better concealed. And where's the second card? Well, you can listen through doors. Oh wait, I think I hear it. Of course he looks this way. Okay, as I was saying, you can listen through doors. All you gotta do is go up to one and lean against it. As you can see, I can, I can hear his footsteps through the door. And now I can. As expected, you can mantle by jumping and holding the jump key. You can also press C. 
helps with mantling without accidentally jumping. to whatever is in there is going to be a bit tricky. They don't have helmets. You can knock them out from any direction. You still have to hit them in the head though. If they have helmets, you gotta do it from behind. Uh, you obviously can't knock people out if they're already alerted. Oh, I heard something. As you can see, this guy has a key on his belt. I wonder if I can get that. Well, while he's coming around, let's pick this. That was easy. That's what I should have said. Don't look Someone here, nothing's missing. Someone on the other side, I think, is trying to look for me. Yeah, this might be a bit tricky. actually the key to this old chest. That seems like a comfortable sleeping position, doesn't it? Not really. That lamp 
was being annoying. That guy's still looking for me. I don't see him. Grab that wine. Let's see if we can get through that door. Turn around. Out of order, do not operate. I assume the scepter is inside that little area we couldn't get into. throwing that lamp there now. I don't have a gas there, I just have a moss. Sweet. Let's get this guy. Or not. Come over here. Come to the darkness. You know you want to. Come here. Just found the guy I knocked out. Come on, Go there! Let's make this easy for both of us. No, I don't want to make it easy for both of us. I want to make it hard for you and easy for me. 
Now go before I air you to the head. All I want uh, was a nice quiet shift. Now there's gonna be blood. Let's see if we can go vertical. Oh shit. No, no, Come no. On, show me. Ah! You're not going closer. You're safe there. Come here and uh, yes. Uh. Ow! Don't throw rocks! That's not fair! Alright, let's get this over. Run. Oh god. Might as well demonstrate fighting again. demonstrate how fighting works in this game. Uh, if you ever played the game Mountain Blade, you can determine where you're, which direction you slash. You can do a little right, you can do a left, you can do down. Basically you just move the mouse in the direction while holding the, holding the left mouse button. Or if you do up, you stab. You need. Also use the middle mouse button to block. You can adjust the difficulty of that. Uh, right now I have it so that it'll block regardless. If, if I use block, it'll block any direction. There is actually an option to make it so you need to block the specific direction the slash comes from. And it looks like... Oh wow, I didn't do too terribly. I only got found by one guy. Anyway. That's that. Guess we're gonna do another one. <laughs>